Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting chess game by Wilhelm Steinitz and in this chess game this is an another chess game of Steinitz from the Vienna chess tournament from 1873 this is round 9 and in this tournament Wilhelm Steinitz was amazing and I like to give you some informations about Wilhelm Steinitz results in this tournament well Steinitz finished the tournament in the first place and he played 27 chess games in the tournament he won 20 of them and drew five times and he only lost two times and i believe those losses was against joseph henry blackburn but later on he avenged his defeats and defeated his opponent he also defeated joseph henry blackburn in the same tournament and on the other hand interestingly joseph henry blackburn played 32 games in the tournament and wilhelm steinitz played 27 games yet he won the tournament I believe Steinitz was absent for a couple of days. So this is why Joseph Henry Blackburn played more games than Wilhelm Steinitz in the same tournament. And in this chess game, Wilhelm Steinitz's opponent is Oscar Gelfus. He played 29 games and won 10 of them. He was not the strongest opponent of Steinitz in this tournament. And let me show you how this game went on. And before starting to this chess game, for the records, Adolf Anderson, the chess legend, he played 30 games and Anderson won 17 of them. He lost 9 games and drew 4 times. So in this chess game, Wilhelm Steinitz starts the game with playing c4, the English opening, e6, e3, f5, g3, knight to f6, bishop to g2, c6, knight to f3, d5, b3, bishop to d6, bishop to b2. And both players castled, knight from b to d7, d4 b6 knight to c3 queen to e7 a3 bishop to b7 queen to c2 knight to e4 knight to d2 e5 attacking and rook from f to e1 rook from f to e1 exchanging the knights and e4 closing the file it looks like black has the strong center black's pawn structure is looking perfect it looks like both sides is equal but there is no serious advantage for black so exchanging the pawns, knight to b5, attacking the bishop, and where is the bishop going? Well, black didn't want to play a passive move, like bishop to b8, so we have rook from f to c8, fighting for the open file, a6, and finally Steinitz captured the bishop, a4, knight to f6, and then exchanging the rooks, capturing back with the queen, defending the queen, not exchanging, if exchanging the queens, actually this could be a draw. We have rook to c8, rook to c1. It already looks like this game could be a draw. And Oscar Gelfus was the underdog against Wilhelm Steinitz, but so far he is doing pretty well against Steinitz. So if Oscar Gelfus can win this chess game, that would be a serious upset. After rook to c1, we have queen to e6, exchanging the rooks. But so far black is doing well. And it is not clear that how Wilhelm Steinitz is going to win this chess game. But actually, there is only one move in this position that wins for white. Can you see that move? What would you do in this position? Is it pushing the pawn? Well, Stein is played queen to b4 and how to defend in this position. Also attacking the pawn if defending with the queen. So in this position, Wilhelm Steinitz has the upper hand immediately after queen to b4 running away and checking the king running away bishop to f1 f4 steinitz captured the pawn e3 if capturing back if capturing the pawn then capturing back with the queen checking the king so bishop to d3 king to h6 and queen to e7 steinitz wants to exchange the queens when he has the one extra pawn not exchanging capturing the pawn and then queen to h3 defending queen to h5 what would you do in this position this is the critical moment of this chess game. This is the second critical moment. And Wilhelm Steinitz played a bone crushing move. And after that move, black is in serious trouble. But can you see that move? What would you do? A skull cracking move by Steinitz. Did you see the move? I will give you 5 seconds, but if you want, you can also pause the video and try to guess the move. You can take your time if you haven't seen the move. Well, in this position, did you see this incredible queen sacrifice? This is what Steinitz did. Queen takes on f6. What a move. 
and Oscar Gelfus resigned with a wide open mouth. A shocking, crushing attack by Steinitz and this was the equivalent of a knockout punching in chess. This was a knockout for Black. And Black is getting knocked out with a vicious uppercut. What a move by Steinitz. What a crushing attack. Unbelievable. And let me show you the obvious continuation in this position. If capturing the queen with the pawn. Then here comes Bishop to 8 Checking the king. And where is the king going? Nowhere. Check. Mate. There is no defense. What a game by Steinitz. This is checkmate with the most brutal way. So let's take it back. So after capturing the knight with the queen, the king can't go anywhere. So what happens if blocking with the queen, if queen to g6, then queen to d8, attacking the bishop in this position if capturing the bishop with the queen. Then white is not going to capture the bishop because we have checkmate, queen to g5, checkmate. So after queen to d8, queen to g4, defending the bishop with the queen, but then bishop to e2. Also black is defending the checkmate threat at the same time. But after queen to f5. Bishop to f8. And what now? Well actually white is a piece up and this is all over for black. But let's play few more moves. Queen to e7. Queen to b1. Checking the king. King to f2. Queen to g6. And then queen to h4. Queen to h5. And here comes queen takes on h5. Check. Mate. There is no defense. One second. What a game by Steinitz. And in this position, if you see Queen takes on F6, then well done. And thank you for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye.